Okay, here's our red line rebuild update for the Buick. We have all the machine work done. Our cam bangs are installed. We're at Travers Body and Paint. And now it's time to wash this block thoroughly with some Dawn dish soap. It's good for ducks. We're gonna get a nice coat of that Buick green or blue, whatever you wanna call it, on the block and it'll be ready for assembly. We also have our heads over here on the stand. They are masked off. They're ready for paint as well. And then we have a whole slew of tin work. For whatever reason with Buick, Buick basically production wise, they assembled the whole motor and painted everything. All the brackets, all the pumps, any trinkets, the valley pan, the valve covers, everything is painted engine color. We got a lot here to do today and uh, you're gonna see most of it. Even though our engine block has been thoroughly cleaned post all the machining and all that type of stuff, I still highly recommend going through and uh, brushing out all the passages. Nice brush here. And this is just uh, from uh, Moroso. They sell a kit, it's like 40 bucks, 50 bucks for this brush kit. And what it allows you to do is get all that fine grinding dust and machine work out of the, not only the cylinder bores, but then also the longer, like a rifle brush that goes into your oil passages and allows you to thoroughly clean it out because you would be really surprised, and you can see it here, even after this has been washed a handful of times, there's still stuff. Um, the more you can get out now, the less comes loose later. All right, so after a good amount of time here. We got our engine block is clean and all of our other parts are clean. We're finished with a little wipe down here. You want to do a little degreaser on everything before it gets sprayed. Um, these are alternator brackets and other miscellaneous pieces that need to be the same color as the engine. And, uh, but everything's masked off as you can see, block, block heads, a uh, valley pan, crossover, the uh, timing cover. And all I'm doing, again, I'm wiping these down last minute with uh, wax and grease remover, uh, just to make sure the oils from our hands as we were putting stuff up on here, getting it racked and ready is not going to be an issue. We'll, uh, we'll get it the best we can get it, get that paint a good chance to stick. Uh, we are using, let me get the exact stuff we're using, I forget. So we are using a Nason Full Fane single stage IB, and it's actually considered Ford Caribbean Turquoise. What the paints were back in the 60s all have some general match to something a little more recent. So when they print off the label, they print it off to whatever that variance was and so on and so forth. You know, my mind says performance is not only making horsepower on an engine, but it still needs to look decent or look good. So we'll use a sealer and a primer, uh, epoxy primer, so it, it seals everything off well and give the paint the best go for its, for its time on the engine here. All right, so I'm gonna finish up here with, uh, with all the parts. I'm about, man, about a third of the way through after this block is done. And uh, we'll get everything wiped down, and then it's time for some paint. All right, as you can probably hear behind me here, Jamie's in the booth spraying the paint on our engine. And uh, at this point, my job is done here for today. The next time you see us, we'll be in the shop with a nicely painted motor and ready for assembly. Have a good one. the schmutz out of it. <laughs>